What's up, guys? It's Carlos Alberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. So today we have a special guest, Sean the Cavalier. If you guys don't know who he is, he runs a nice menswear style channel. And a little more than that, and I'm going to let you take it away. I do reviews of like the best menswear out there. Right now, I'm dressed as East Coast Prep for our video. Uh, and so you want to check that out and share that channel. But Link down below. Today, we're going to do a $100 challenge at Gap. True. Who can, who can put together the best outfit for 100 bucks? Good luck, buddy. All right. Have you practiced? <laughs> Have you practiced? I'm always practicing. I usually don't shop at Gap. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting something that uh, can fit. Yeah. I think we'll find something. So we're going to head over. We're going to head over to Gap we'll right now. Let's do it. Hey, Justin, I think I'm just going to keep I'm just gonna keep the East Coast prep theme going with some, like, seersucker. Maybe some, uh, look at this, seven-inch short on these mile-long legs. It's all, about, it's all about the booty, though. Let me get some seer And for context, John over here is 6'4, right? Or 6'5? 6'4, yeah. 6'4. So I gotta stay under $100, but these are 50, so let's go check the markdowns. <laughs> really? 50 bucks. I'm gonna get that tee, that's a cool tee. I need that tee and some shorts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat Carlos just because he's been dicking around on his phone. Yeah. He's not doing anything. Carlos is out of energy right now, he needs coffee. What's that? You need coffee, you're dying. No, I'm, also, I'm, you're I'm conserving my energy. Okay. I also forgot to, I also forgot to consider that I suck at math, so <laughs> might go over. <laughs> so John's putting together multiple outfits to try and uh, yeah. combat the chance that Carlos is only going to get one outfit. So. And that he'll go over budget. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. And it seems like he's definitely gonna go over budget and he just keeps playing around on this phone. What's up guys, so it's my turn to pick out what I'm gonna wear for this $100 challenge. And I have a pretty good agenda on what I'm gonna look for because I like to buy things that, not necessarily gonna make just one outfit, so I'm looking for things already that match with other stuff in my closet just because I don't wanna spend money on just a single mannequin like this, because it doesn't make sense. Exhibit A. So I'm just gonna pick something that looks very stylish, very modern with the trends as well, and look cool and fly. So let's try to see if we can find something under a hundred dollars. Uh, I'm not short enough. <laughs> <laughs> So I do want to go with a pair of jeans like this, but I feel like I'm just shopping the Gap look, the Gap experience, and I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Uh-oh, okay. So I think that what I'm going to be doing is just maybe thinking about what's happening right now in fashion as well, the trends, and seeing if I could find something and combine those elements of what that Gap is presenting and also what the trends are presenting. I would go for a cheat sheet and just get a white basic button up, but I feel like that's a little too easy. And everyone should already have one of these by now, so. And if you are gonna buy a white basic shirt like this, don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> Got my first piece right here. Is that green? Yes. These are $34 They're on sale. 59 to 34 I think that's pretty, pretty good. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Ooh, this is nice. Let's see. What are you thinking? Obviously, right now the climate is a little bit more baggier, so let's try the baggier style. <laughs> so as you can see, we got two bags, two blokes, done shopping, under a hundred dollars for sure. I is it shopping. for sure? You're a hundred dollars. You're a hundred dollars. I'm under. under uh, yeah. Okay. Where'd you end up at? Eighty-four bucks. Sixty-two. Ooh, <laughs> that sale! You guys have to make sure you check out Gap. This isn't sponsored. Look. But maybe drop them a. Look right there. Maybe drop our uh, our at signal and handle at Gap. And yeah, they, go spam them. They took us here. <laughs> yeah. Cavalier by Carlos Alberto. But I was just shopping experience. I was surprised how much I liked yeah. in there. Because I, when I shopped, I guess when I shopped in the past, not only did I have trouble with sizing, yeah. but I also never find, but I found like four things that I would I definitely like. Me too. I think I was surprised with the actual sale like that was advertised on there. Because I didn't think that everything was on sale, but. They just place them around the store and you're like, I don't know if this is a, this isn't on sale. Sometimes you don't take that like leap to ask the register because there's a long line or whatever. But the sale was amazing, dude. I picked up some good stuff. I'm stoked. Commentary. What's up, guys? So this is the cameraman. Um, I don't know who's going to win. Go for it. 
Go for There's it. two different styles here, so we'll see who we'll see who uh, plays best to the audience. And no, the approaches. One, 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 one has four outfits. One has one outfit. This guy. So. But the thing is that you guys are gonna get the best of all worlds, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So you can pick and choose which ones you guys like, and maybe get inspired by five different outfits. So I have no look because I ran out of money. But you could have grabbed a tea. The teas were 10 bucks. Yeah, but the thing about shopping at Gap or just anywhere like this is I like uh, quality over quantity. And I, I want to make sure that what I buy, I'm going to wear. Should have done it. Yeah. Should have done it. <laughs> no, I grabbed the polo because I have the tees. That's like a casual thing. Yeah. The polo is like a little bit more refined, but I can still wear it with the red shorts. Like I still feel like I'm Sunday brunch ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just a little more... Uh... A little more classy. I didn't even think about the, the polo, so. I think the polo was 15. It was it? Yeah. Oh, I could have I think the tees were 10, polo 15, and then the blazer was <laughs> over budget. Yeah, it was like 40. Well, with, with Carlos's sense of style, he could just cut them off and make a polo out of that shirt. Exactly. Yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> the band shirt. <laughs> All right, guys, so those are our looks. Plenty to choose from. Make sure you guys check out Gap. The sale is amazing. Don't sleep on it. Any last words? You gotta pick who wins. Let us know which ones are your favorite and also go tell us on his Instagram at the Cavalier, the underscore Cavalier. And also down below in the comment section.